that I'd visited two years ago and walked in and said, could you do my hair? And they said, yes, we'll do it. And they did it immediately. And I'm sitting here having a cup of coffee. Relaxing after a crazy week in Italy, which was wonderful. It takes a real man to sit like this. <laughs> Gilgen and welcome to another vlog. No, not in Italy. This time back in Austria and it's a beautiful January, February. Actually, it's the first of February. So by the time you watch it, it'll be the second of February. It's a beautiful February day. It's so warm that the Austrians are not sure what to do. This place in February is going to be covered in snow. Not a lot of snow. But we're here this week just relaxing. Carola and her sister inherited a little flat up here in the, in the mountains. But we're here this week just taking a few days off, although I've been doing some work this week. It's been quite a busy week actually. Um, good week, fruitful week. And Carola's been doing a few things here, also helping her mom and her aunt and the usual business that we get up to here in Salzburg. But I found myself from time to time coming to the windows of the little flat and opening them up on, on, onto the outside world. And I just had this thought that I want to share with you guys and it's happened to me quite a few times in my life and I'm sure you'll have experienced the same thing and that is sometimes using the weather as a symbolism or as a metaphor, life doesn't look like what you think it should. For example, I open the windows and all you see is fog. You see nothing, you don't see any view, you see some barely sh outlined shapes of, of roofs, of buildings, but you can see nothing. And sometimes life can feel like that. It can feel like I just cannot see much further than my nose, okay? And then there's other times when you open up and, and you get the feeling of, ah, there's some sunshine coming. I, I think the fog might lift. I think, I think there's gonna be some clarity on the issues that we find challenging in our lives. I don't know about you, but there are times in my life where it feels pretty bleak and cold and miserable. And then there's times where suddenly everything just lifts. And for me, as I believe in him, trusting him as he leads and orders our steps. And sometimes we go through what they call the valley of the shadow of death. It feels scary. And um, there are other times where you see very clearly and you feel like you're on top of the world and you can see as far as the eye allows you to see. So if you're feeling like the fog has set in and you're never going to see anything again, don't worry about it because as you open the windows onto life, things become clear. Inevitably, eventually, if you hold your nerve, if you just keep taking another step, just keep moving forward, 
you're going to find out that the fog will lift and it'll open up into a breathtaking view like we've had at this little flat here in St Kilgan. So that's my thought for the day. I hope you guys are well. Please do subscribe. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Send me a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. And if you liked the video, give us a thumbs up. That's the Schafberg. Remember that one? <laughs> Vlog number on the screen here. I climbed from the Little Vinkel, which is just behind that hill, all the way to the top with my son, Christian. Hi, my name is Carola and I'm Roy's wife and I'm going to show you today how to make Apfelstrudel with dough that you can pull. You can make the dough yourself and you can pull the dough. All right. Yesterday I threatened to do it, today I'm doing it. Christian and I are climbing to the top of the Schafberg. And I just want to say for a moment, this is what life is like. You know at some point you're going to get to the top of that mountain, it's going to be spectacular and I really hope today on this vlog we get there. It's a long ways up. Down in the valley it's beautiful, it's green, it's wonderful and then you walk halfway up the mountain or a good part of the mountain and you're on roads. The path is broad but then it gets narrow and you've got these trees on either side. Overpowering canopy. When you're climbing the mountain of life, I think we all do it seasons of our lives, we go through some pretty steep crap, excuse my language. I keep putting one foot before the other, that's all I can tell you. What do you think? Yeah, we're climbing a mountain. We're gonna to get to the top and it's gonna be, it's gonna be fine. That's where we're going, up there, Christian. <laughs> it just hurts me to think about it. Both of my grandmothers, my grandmother from my dad's side, my grandmother from my mom's side, I always used to love this dish. We're getting there. In fact, I can see the Alps right in the distance. I don't know if you guys can see that. Well, we're about halfway. We've got to keep going. I want to see what we're looking at. This is what we're looking at. That's my second born. Most incredible son. I hate this camera. It doesn't tell you how high we are. Trust me, we're high. We're up in the heavenlies here. The extraordinary thing is, is that those cows on the hill are higher than we are. And I just can't have that. At least we're not in the woods anymore. Hello girls, watch out for that. Cow poo. Oh my goodness, at last. Hey look, that's where we're going, Christian. Yeah. We're nearly there. Yep. Oh, I know we've still got somewhere to go, but... <laughs> what? Forget that, man. now a matter of taste also how thin do you want your dough to be <sighs> I think that's the hardest I've climbed anywhere in the world down the bottom there so you can see how far we've come there's my son and we have to go way beyond there so there's nothing more to do but to keep climbing Christian's doing great his dad is struggling. And we've still got somewhere to go. I'd be speaking with much more passion and energy if I had it, but I don't. Joys of youth. I always 
start with the breadcrumbs. I'm going to start here on that side and I'm going to fill about two thirds of it. And now I will roll it. All right, made it. Please know this about life. Even when you can see your goal in sight, you're not there until you get to the top. And it's for fact, the hardest part is always the last few steps. But Christian and I have got one more little trip to go up there because we're gonna have a cold beer and a schnitzel. Of course for him it was a breeze, but for, for me it was like, uh, but I did it. I made it. I got to the top of that mountain. Lots of wonderful memories in this amazing place. And of course, this is where I got married too, to the most beautiful girl in the world. <laughs> She's my camera girl, come. Yeah. We got, we, we got married just behind that hill there. Yeah. You look so close! Oh, so oh, yeah. so oh, great! It's perfect. <laughs> Okay. Loving you is that. the only thing I want to do Loving you is the only thing I can find That I can say it's been my mind Cause I love you, babe, can't you see That we find our love so free And we'll go to find out I know to find out to say no to find out to say Never wanna be without you. Never wanna go. Never wanna be without you. Never wanna go, never wanna be without you, never wanna go, never wanna go, never wanna go. So I play a song again, it breaks my heart again, cause I can't find where it stops or it ends. Feeling love will break me through. I know might lead to you You see, it's all the same to me I really can change And the rain stopped for our wedding yeah. and it, was, it was like wasn't the home even, of my ancestors It wasn't even raining so much It, it reminded me of Scotland I love Scotland and my ancestry roots before, the, <laughs> before we arrived in Africa came from Scotland Well, part of me did Bits and pieces of me Anyway, it's we love you guys <laughs> Are you happy to have me back from Italy? Yes, I'm you. very thankful. I missed him. She was, he was gone for a long time. It seemed I'm like a long time. By the way, I'll show you guys what happens in Italy in the months ahead as I finish those videos. But the musicians are fantastic. But I think I'll stop talking now because this is not the most dignified way to be seen globally on YouTube. <laughs> guys, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Yeah. And same time, same place next week every Sunday uploading another vlog so for me Rory Alec and my beautiful Corolla ciao for now ciao for, <laughs> ciao for now <laughs> never want to never want to be without you That's a big stone. It's crazy. I cannot never believe it.